Well, it really has been a battle of economy versus mm -hmm. ecology, and tonight that important battle is behind us. Yeah, it is. This weekend, Charlotte-based Duke Energy and Dominion Energy canceled plans to build their Atlantic Coast Pipeline. Now, this map shows it would have stretched from West Virginia to North Carolina. Our meteorologist, John Aarons, keeps a close track of our environment and our resources. And, John, this pipeline would have run through some of North Carolina's most precious resources. Yeah, it really would have, and because of that, it's been the source of constant lawsuits ever since Dominion and Duke Energy announced plans to build this pipeline back in 2014. But in the end, it wasn't the environmental concerns. It was more of an economic issue here. Take a look. This pipeline would have stretched for 600 miles from West Virginia to North Carolina. It would have carried 7 billion gallons of natural gas every day. When the energy companies planned this out, they predicted a cost of $5.1 billion. Well, now that's ballooned up to $8 billion. So the pipeline is no more. Now, this pipeline certainly would bring an economic boom to the community, and I'm going to take you through that in a moment. But first, here's why environmentalists are celebrating. The pipeline, as I mentioned, would carry natural gas, and environmentalists have been warning for years about the potential environmental impacts of harvesting that gas. You've heard of fracking. Also, if we look at the pipeline's map, we can track it through the most pristine land of the country from the George Washington National Park down to the Blue Ridge Parkway. It brings about 14.9 million tourists through our area a year with an economic impact across the parkway at over a billion dollars and across the Appalachian Trail, one of the most protected trails in the nation. The National Resources Defense Council called this, quote, tremendous news for West Virginians Virginians and North Carolinians who deserve clean air, safe water, and protection from climate change. But you got to remember, Duke Energy is one of the biggest utility companies in the country, and it's based right out of here. So any decision would have a huge impact locally. Duke CEO Lynn Good said in a statement, while we're disappointed that we're not able to move forward with the ACP, we continue exploring ways to helping our customers and communities, particularly in eastern North Carolina, where the need is great. And keep in mind, right now our country is in a major unemployment crisis due to COVID-19. So Duke and Dominion promised building the pipeline would create 17,000 jobs and another 2,200 when it was operational. Now that pipeline would have ended out east in Robinson County, obviously a major environmental impact here, but certainly it would have been a big economic impact for those guys out east.